Hello family members and today you're welcome to another edition of the King Stevens Hold Hands Movement and today I'm back again with a very exciting tutorial and last week I got a question from one of my fans in Rwanda Sadu he's like hello Mr. Stephen I am called Sadu I am an upcoming director from Rwanda please I'm asking you something that is really hard for me I normally shoot black skin people and I really don't have a good looking orange steel lot that can help me to achieve things like yours I am your biggest fan on YouTube please help me I will always mention you in my work as my inspiration thanks okay Sadu thank you very much for being my biggest fan shout out to Rwanda Greet all the video directors over there for me and extend my love to them. I'm gonna walk you through the steps on how I get the teal and orange look and I created an orange and teal lot and I'm gonna share the lots to you after this tutorial for free. So I'm using the Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2017. I basically just rushed and did some color corrections on these images. So this video is Daphne's Kali. The video is on YouTube already. It's on Trace, Urban, Trace, Africa. The link of the video will be on the description box below. <laughs> This video is a video of Mathematic de Petit Pays. I shot this video like from a few months back in Limbe. So I'll just carry my adjustment layer and put it on top of my image. And I'll just rush and go to a point where I feel like it's, it's the best frame of my footage. And that's why I'll start doing the color grading. So I'll just move over to my color tab one thing i want to say about the teal and orange look is that it's a very popular look very popular in hollywood movies blockbuster movies where you have the shadows being kind of you know greenish bluish and the skin tones and the highlights are kind of yellowish and stuff like that so my advice to use that before you shoot a particular scene you should be able to understand what color you want to apply on that image it's gonna help you very much because sometimes you need to add some things on set to help achieve a particular color I don't know if I make sense yes yes oh yes okay so I click on my adjustment layer click on my creative tab like I told you I created a lot already that can help me achieve this look so I'll just go ahead and apply it um, Kang T and O lot, which means T and orange. So, as you can see for yourself, once I apply the lot, it I mean automatically gives me that teal and orange look. You can see right over here that the shadows here are teal, uh, the mid tones, and it's kind of yellow and stuff like that. So, I'll just run ahead, I'll just rush and do some finer touches. I'll just bring down the intensity to let's say. 50 percent or let me say 60 percent could do yes 60 percent is good for me i think this image is it's it's really good i mean see before and after you know you already get that teal and orange look but if you want to go further if you want to make it you want to stylize it more you can just go ahead and you know do whatever you can do on it i'll just come over to my shadow tint and give it a little bit of orange and for my highlights i'll just come and give it a little bit blue something like that then i come to my tint balance and just play around and see where it suits me very well so something like this is good okay so then now i'll just come over to my color wheels i'll just push my shadows to to the green like so Push my mid tones to the yellow, like so. Push my highlights to the yellow, like so. Add more green, like so. More blue, like so. If you see, if you look at this, you're kind of going towards that teal and orange look. This is just for today's sake, so I'm just rushing along so you can just have a clue on how I do it. But with the Lord, you can just go ahead and mess around. So you see, this is before, after, before, after, before. You get very warm, 
image then after you can you see you have very good to an orange look you can just go ahead and add some more saturation if you want to you can push up the saturation till about 20 to about 120 and vibrant you can just pull it up to let's say four you know just i mean play around let's go to another image and see how we can achieve that look so i'll just track over my adjustment layer right here i just plug in my lot and bam we have the teal and orange look already you can see the shadows here or teal you know the skin tone or orange you know and stuff like that but i want to do adjustment on it you know like i said it all depends on you and what you want you know some people might just like it the way it is but others will want to change the look so for me i'll just bring it down to let's say um 60 yes i'm okay at 60 bring the intensity to 60 then um come over to my shadow tint i want to push this up to the to the yellow like so then the highlights i want to push it down to the blue like so because to me in as much as i want to have that orange and teal look i also want to have um some natural colors like you see the sky just want it to be still blue stuff like that i'll just go ahead with my tint balance to see where i get that orange and teal look going so right around here it's okay by me okay i'll come over to my color wheels i push down my shadows to, to the green like so my mid tones to the right orange like so like so yes not this too much just push it up a little and my highlights just push it up to the yellow like so so see this is what i have till an orange look you can just go ahead and add more saturation if you want so just pull up the saturation a little bit like that so if you see the before after before after before and after you can begin to understand how it works so that's the Daphne before after before after and that's our mathematics video before after before after before I forget these are the girls got class thanks us I rented them for that day so it was really fun working with them you know the dance with a lot of energy that's how I get my teal and orange look in most of my videos and below is gonna be the link of my lots so you can go ahead and download the lots you know just use it and try to be creative do something better do something great you know go ahead like the video share the video to other filmmakers let's learn let's support each other it's all about hold hands movement don't forget to ask more questions when you have them you can take some facebook twitter instagram youtube just anywhere and i'm gonna reply you you know so i'm very happy hope you learned something and see you next time